Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Britus Nexus with 756 rating versus Doka Bay with 895 rating, so this can be another high rated DB video, and with that being said, let's hop right in, and we are going to go ahead, and we are going to see Doka Bay win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and decide to go first, 42 versus 40, Britus Nexus has Scareclaw, Slash, Fenrir, Ecclesia, Astra, and Talents, the opponent has Talents, Beaver, Talents, Swap, Angler, both players opening up talents here. Um, the only bad thing is this player doesn't have a hand trap, so both those talents aren't going to do anything. Then they start with normal summon beaver, beaver effect, bring out angler. And then make gigantic. It also sucks because it doesn't doesn't suck here. Like this, like this is going to be full combo, of course. Like this brings out blue. They have sprite stuff. Swap can discard angler, which pretty much just access sprint there, and it's going to get us swap frog access. Blue effect, go search jet. It just sucks that we drew double talons. And then special jet, jet effect, go search. Jet, go search double cross. And then discard angler, bring out swap. And then effects are gonna activate. Um. Yeah, they could have done this differently. <laughs> like, Gigantic could have been summoned up in the extra monster zone, so both beavers can be summoned here, assuming that you want to use a beaver and Gigantic to make... No, you wanted to use blue? Oh. Bring out Swap, Overlay for Toad. Link off in the IP. Oh, yeah, this was played horribly. Set double cross, pass. We didn't even, like, leave a zone open for double cross. Pass, draw belone. And then standby phase, toad effect, attach, go special. And then that brings out swap frog. And then they're going to go special summon Fenrir. Also, I just think playing, like, multiple talents is bad, especially in this deck. Where, like, you're not even forcing hand traps a lot. Like, an unrated talents is okay in Sprite, but I don't even think in a tournament I would play it. Special summon Fenrir, and then attempt to end main phase 1. So they said, sure, battle phase is fine. Start a battle phase, double cross, attach it. Taking it would have been pretty cool too. Normal summon, activate the IP effect. That's going to make Unicorn. Hey, there we go, making use of the extra talents. Spin that back. And then Ecclesia effect to summon, Ecclesia effect to search. They're going to chain Toad to negate and set that. Um, and then in response, they're going to chain Elf, bring out Toad. Activate Talents to draw, chain Toad to negate and set that. Getting back to the two Talents, let's go. Okay, but moving on to game two now, we're going to see the Scareclaw deck go first. We got Astra, Slash, Draco back, Natty Servant, Temple. They have Valor, Magma, Imperm, Beaver, and Smashers. So go main phase, activate temple effect, banish, and go search. It's going to go search out the right. Activate right, special token, bring out fateful. It is cool to see Scareclaw. I think, you know, I don't want to show this deck off too many more times, because it's not a deck you're going to see that often. But, you know, it is important to learn this deck at least a little bit. People were playing it at regionals. Draco back, chain griffin. So special griffin, equip Draco back to token, and then we're going to go set slash, normal summon Astra, link off, make light heart, light heart effect. Not too sure why we set slash before doing this. We're going to get impermed on light heart, chain griffin, chain valor on griffin, which that's fine because you practically just had the double hand trap light heart to stop it because griffin just stays there as another interruption for follow up, like another interruption for your turn, I should say, not for follow up. Nadir Servant, Dump Garua, Search Ecclesia, and then Activate Garua Effect to draw one. Uh, Garua draws into Planet, which is what this would have searched anyways. Special at Ecclesia, and then Ecclesia Effect to go search. And then that's going to go search out Knight. Activate Planet now, and then Planet's going to go search. Oh, that's going to go grab Rich Heart. Oh, and they also have tons of monsters in defense. So special summon Rich Heart, Rich Heart effect, go search for Twin Saw, and then draw one. Draws in the planet for follow-up. So they have both the traps. This trap is going to make it to where it's just a general negate. But wait. Oh, okay, this is a scare claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is going to be a negate. It's not going to be hard to out it, though, just because they can attack over this to stop it. 
Um, and then Twin Saw is going to be a pop 2. But, yeah, it's other effect isn't going to be usable, which is like the good effect. All of the opponent's monsters are going to lose a little bit of attack too, because all the guys in defense. So we're going to go end phase. They're going to activate Magma, target Garua, summon, and then effect to go search. That's going to go search Jerusalem. Jerusalem effect, bring out. Not too sure why there's so many Noldies in defense. Maybe maybe I'm just dumb, but I'm, I'm not sure. They draw Fenrir, and then activate Slash, and then go Twin Saw. So they're going to pop both those, and then Slash is able to negate Jerusalem if they want, which they do. Um, Is it... Okay, I guess it's worth it, because you want to keep Night live. Okay, so special summon Fenrir, and then they said the summon of Fenrir is fine. Okay, normal beaver, beaver effect, chain griffin to negate and destroy, trying to... Yeah, I was going to say a yeah, separate chain, <laughs> and then we can night negate Fenrir if we want. But, moving on to game three now, we are going to see the opponent be going first on Sprite, Opening hands, we have Droll, Talons, Fenrir, Dark Ruler, right? They have Starter, Blue, Magma, Jet, and Valor. So, Sprite Player opened very well here. And then, I mean, we do have a bunch of going second cards and right. So, it's it's not bad. And, I, and they don't have Talons. If they had Talons, they'd be able to punish us really bad. Normal Jet, Special Blue, Blue Effect, go grab Jet, and then drop Droll and Lockbird. Make Sprint, Sprint Effect, so you know, making Sprint by itself is always Double Toad, plus follow up, adding back Beaver, but they still have Starter, um, they also have Magma, but there's no point of summoning it because they're under Droll, they don't have anything engraved to add back, bring out Swap, Swap Effect, go dump Swap Frog, and then link off, make elf, elf effect, summon back out. We can just set starter. So we're going to have Valor, starter, double toad, magma. They draw star frost, then standby phase, toad effect, attach, go special summon out the third swap frog. And then main phase, dark ruler of the opponent. Okay, and then special summon out Fenrir, Fenrir effect to go search. Maybe they're taking on summon if they want to. Starter in the red, they don't. They're gonna Valor Fenrir here. Oh, um, there's just no way, right? All Fenrir does here is it searches for another copy of Fenrir and it banishes one card that we control face down, but all of our cards are negated. Toad can tribute itself off field if they want to, so it's not even gonna stop that. So they banish L for swap, unless if we really want a starter in the red. But Fenrir can just go battle phase, beat over the red. But I guess we're happy if they go battle phase with just that. Okay, so they're going to try to toad negate right, which uh, I guess they're already playing in the talents of the Valor, so you may as well bring out token, bring out fateful, toad effect, add back beaver. Yeah, because usually you don't want toad effect right away. Even if it's negated, because you're just playing the talents for no reason. Activate talents, draw two, draw temple, and evenly temple effect. The special summon itself out from hand, because we control the token. So then Fateful Adventure can activate the search for the equip spell. Go ahead, grab the Draco back. And then Fateful Adventure to grab Griffin and discard. So grab the Griffin, discard Draco back, Draco back effect to equip. And then in response, we're going to chain Griffin the special so special summon out griffin and then equip the draco back draco back effect to bounce back we are summoning everything in attack position though for some reason we are under dark ruler so star frost target temple destroy it special and then temple effect banish go search right and then we're gonna turn star frost into light heart light heart effect uh, that's going to go ahead and grab the Primitive Planet. Primitive Planet effect. Go search for a Scareclaw Rich Heart. It's like, yeah, I just don't get why everything was summoned an attack. Like, couldn't we have gotten a free draw? Like, uh, couldn't we have popped their cards with Planet? 
Like, we can't do damage. They definitely just forgot about Dark Ruler, 100%. Because you can't, you can't forget about a free draw like that. Go search a rival. And then link off, go in the dark. Dark effect to take. They're going to take the Gigantic. Okay. Uh, link those off now. And the Unicorn. Unicorn effect. Spin back. Arrival. Target Starfrost. And then they are going to Magma. It's a thin card here. Chain Griffin to negate and destroy that. Bring out Starfrost. And then Light Heart effect to summon back out from the graveyard. Uh, Link. Oh, not Link. Synchro. Okay, okay, okay. Synchro on the floor. That's fair. Actually, that actually makes a lot of sense. Pop that. Turn those in the... Oh my gosh, you don't have game. This wasn't even the good line for game. You would just let Magma Mutt summon, right? Honestly, I don't remember. I, I mean, there was probably a way for game even if you just let Magma Mutt summon itself. You could probably just, like, link off Fenrir or something. This is good. I mean, there's some route, 100%, but they're under Dark Ruler, so... Yeah, they forgot about it. So they took a lot of interruptions and a lot of, you know, could have had a draw, could have done a lot more. And, you know, now they just have Floor Fenrir, which isn't the greatest. We put a random access code on board. They draw Pixies. They're going to go Main Phase, Normal Beaver, no effect. And then Special Summon Pixies. Okay. I mean, they definitely could have beavered effect. They floor negate you starter. And then you just don't use the effect of what you summon. Go for elf. And then they're going to go special summon jet. Overlay those. Make gigantic. Battle phase. Attack over floor. Main phase two. Downer Zeus. Okay. Okay. That's also fair. Because we still have starter too. So we wipe their field. And then activate starter, bring out blue, activate the blue effect, and then blue goes search red, special summon red, link those off, make elf, and then elf effect, the special summon back out jet. And then jet effect to go search, grabbing double cross. Yeah, we just wanted to get red into rotation there. Otherwise, blue would have just searched jet to do that. And then you could go Elf, but then Elf can't summon back anything that great right now. Alright, alright. Um, probably also messed up zones with this again in Double Cross. Just because you want to be able to summon back Toad to where this points to. Oh, alright, so we're going to go ahead and see Britus Nexus at Meet the Feet there. They said question mark, they left, they said problem question mark. What? What do you mean, problem? They admitted defeat. I, I'm i confused why the opponent thinks that there's a problem here. There's no problem. They just admitted defeat and left. They just didn't say GG's. I mean, I guess that's like the only bad part. But, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty easy. But, with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.